In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, one God. With the help of the Lord of the Earth, Almighty, I begin, as I said and I wrote, the history of our Lord Marminus, praise to the Lord of the Earth, who made strong what was weak, for the successes of Marminus, friend of the Lord of the Earth, were perfected with divine favor, because in him the working of the Lord of the Earth was manifested, and there was in him, as is well known, many wonders, which we will write later. The same Amur, a major war captain, offered Marminus de present to Grain, his Lord, for such is the custom of princes. When they come back with the victory, from whence they went down to war, give a gift to their chiefs, which they prized with their spear, and then the Lord of the earth poured pity into the heart of this infidel thick heart, that he might love and have compassion on Marminus son of the Christian king. And in the days of your captivity, of those Christians who had been captive, some said to him, Remember me, when your kingdom comes. Another said to him, Make me a promise that you have pity on me in the time of your reign, and don't give up cherished the petition of none of them when he reigned after returning from their captivity, because their word was true, worthy of. I credit your sayings, and write all your way. In the third year after his captivity, Grain learned of the arrival of the Franks, whose captain was Dom Christo Vim, then the jealousy was diabolical, wanted to make the Turks disembark, and sent an embassy, to the Basha of Zabid, and the king's son himself he sent with his servants, to be handed over to Basha as a gift from you. Here we will write the wonders that happened before his descent down to the sea, and we will continue with what happened afterwards. Oh. The first of his wonders was when they arrested him, on this day that one who saved David, his servant, from an evil spear, also saved him from the hand of the children of the foreigner, who have no mercy on women or children. So I should say then, my life was spent, in Christ's life I am, as Paul said, the blessed. Page 2. Second Prodigy. On the same days, Grain ordered them to castrate Minas, son of the king, and Larika Maryam and La Eka Maryam, sons of his father's sisters, who had the same name, and they castrated them both, but as for the king's son, the lord of the earth, softened the heart of Grain and the heart of his wife, and did not they went with the king's son, as they did with the two brothers, but this was by the will of the lord of the earth, so that from him a good son might be born, who would leave a good name, which his parents did not reach and his salvation from being castrated was similar to Isaac's salvation to be sacrificed, after the knife was placed on his neck, so that the word that the Lord of the earth said to Abraham would not be considered false, your generation will be called by Isaac. It was similar to what the Lord of the earth swore to David, when he said, I will place the fruit of your womb on your throne, and for this. Cause was the salvation of having Marminus castrated, so that you do not fail to be many wonders, which were done by her son, which... It belongs to us to write. And after that, Grain went to Keda, and when he was there, he heard the news that all the captains of the Skuaraals, who were in Dambia, and with him the great men of the Molosses took counsel with him, saying, This son of the king does not lack, but they make him king, because most of the men of the Arisle of Amhara, who did not associate with us in the faith, or entered our faith for fear of the sword and the spear, their heart is not sincere, even if serve you, prefer to serve the son of their former king, it was better for you to take good advice for your life and for your authority. Hearing this, Grain was troubled, and he was filled with a spirit of jealousy, because of his kingdom, just as the heart of Herod was troubled, when they came to the Magi with him, saying to him, Where is the king of Judah? For we have seen his star in the east, and have come to worship him. Then Grain left Cada for Dambia, in order to consolidate its array, so that there would be no riots. He summoned the great men of his nation and their counselors, and said to them, What shall we do with the king's son? Behold, I have heard many things concerning you. And then they answered him with bad advice, saying, Have no pity on him, and do not spare him until death, and without this you are not sure of them. And going to his wife, he told her all that his counselors had told him, and then looked upon him the mercy of the Lord of the earth, who always defended this son of the Christian king, and instilled piety in both, as was the custom, and did that they hated the death counsel, which they had advised against this innocent man who had not committed any crime, so that he would die. And they said, Let us not harm this son of glorious kings, but let us do him good, so that the Lord of the earth may give our son a reward. Good, and that there may be no disturbance in the thoughts of your father, your mother, and your brethren, we gave him our daughter, and let us make his marriage according to our law, and let us make arrangements for the wedding. Vado, which are proper to husband and wife. In your language it's called Nika. Page 3. After the wedding ceremony was over, a forger got up, came to Grain, and said to him, I have a word to say to you. And Grain said to him, What is it? And then he started to sow bad words in the heart of grain, saying, Chance. Didst thou give thy honor to a stranger, and bring the kingdom back to its possessor? 
If therefore thou hast given him thy daughter, it shall appear to thy captains, that thou hast left him the kingdom, and all the men of the Isle, which were under thy subjection, you will also have sorrow, but you will not be able to restore the power that you left by your own will. And this advice made an impression on his spirits, and he said to him, What was better for me, than what I did? This, who said, was because the it seemed that his kingdom passed to the king's son. So the same. Enemies are fought and gave bad advice, saying, Listen to what I, I tell you, send this son of the king as a gift to the Basha of Zabid, and say to him, Send me soldiers, behold, the Franks have landed, and you cannot fight with them without Turks. This advice pleased him, like the first, and concluded the advice that he should send him. In those days Grain sent the king's son by, son of Dada Abraham, who was one of the greats of his nation, and on your day. Leaving the Isle, there were great lamentations, and cries of sadness. At Dil Wembera's house, because she regarded him as her son, and the. Their male and female slaves wept from the bottom of their hearts, and the. His tears were like water, because they loved him, because of the kindness of his exterior appearance, and the goodness of his interior nature, not only they, but also the men of the Isle of Grain, because. The Lord of Earth had instilled love for him in their hearts. They said goodbye, and he departed, being the Lord of the Earth with him, as he departed with Joseph, and was not parted from him when his brothers sold him. And, being on the way, he fell ill with fever, which is a heat illness, and when he was most intense in him, there was no one to pity him, nor to let him rest, but they made him ride by changing him successively for seven camels. Page 4. One day, when he was riding on a camel, he he was thirsty, and found no water, and because of your great desire to drink water, he walked hastily to reach where he had not arrived, but he went another way, leaving the one where the men, and when they lost him, they ran hither and thither, and found him not, until the seventh day after being lost, he arrived. By the will of the Lord of the earth, those evil men who led him, when they had already lost hope of his life. How then, by the will of God, the life of this sick and afflicted person, being lost about six days, was not preserved, if he does not save the healthy, who has no disease, from which his life escapes, because of the thirst for water in the land of her, and finding no rest day or night, during the number of days we mentioned. Behold, it is known to all, that for the sake of one day's thirst, the mighty men of war, who run afar, their life will flee, and they will return to their dust, much more to him who was so sick, whose life was near death, admirable action of the Lord of the earth, who kills and makes alive, makes you go down to hell and up. He gave thanks to the Lord of the earth, after returning from his captivity, and said thus, So it was with me the mercy of the Lord of the earth, and the prayers of my mother Sabla of Engel, when I wandered through the woods on a camel for it was not long before I died, and I was not pasture for the birds of the sky, and for the wild beasts of the woods. And this was the third of the prodigies that we will write. After this they arrived at the seashore, and put him on board a ship, which was bound for Zabid. This is his exile from his father's inheritance, and his voyage in a ship, being imprisoned in a foreign land, it is similar to the exile of Victor, son of Martha, going with the bridal Naboka, from Antiochia to the mayor of Alexandria. Then Ancho sailed their ship on the shore of the sea by the port, disembarked, and the king's son gave to the Basha of Zabid. Then he was very glad, and received him from the hand of the messengers with his two cousins, whom Grain had castrated, and whose names are those mentioned before. Then the Basha of Zabid sent messengers to the Sultan Salman, saying, The Parduker of our faith, Muslim of Adil, who lorded it over the country of Habax, behold, he has sent me a son of the king, a gift worthy of your honor, ordain what I shall do with it, thy will be done, not mine, but thy will alone afternoon. And he answered his messengers, and said, Keep the king's son with you, as befits a king's son, and do him no harm. Page 5 so the Basha gave him a good dwelling, and all the arrangements, of what was good, and the best, because the Lord of the earth softened the his heart, just as he had softened Grain's heart before. In these days the kingdom of Galavdivos began to rise, and to go from good to better, and he fought with Grain, and by the power of Lord of the earth slew him, and all his captains, being Galavdivos with the Franks, and arrested one of his sons, but his wife ran away and his son being arrested and his wife running away was, by will of the Lord of the earth, the cause of the king's own son returning from captivity, because the most religious queen Sabla of Engel persevered in prayers, and he interceded before the Lord of the earth day and night for this son of his, and entrusted him to all the monks and the poor that there were in monasteries and deserts, and when his prayer ascended to the ears of the Lord of the earth, when he heard it, the Holy Spirit stirred up Dilwembera, even thought of rescuing the queen's son, who was in Basha's power, and he sent a message to the queen of good remembrance, which we have mentioned, saying, Send me my son, I will send you yours. Ella responded with joy and satisfaction, and said, Yes. 
they both announced it very willingly, because they were overcome by the nature of their quality as mothers, and then Delambara sent a message, to the Basha, saying, Have my son rescued by this son of the king, because he professes your faith. The Basha sent to Sultan Salman Dil Wambara's petition, concerning his son, and the Sultan said, Make him redeem his son, because he is a son of our faith. Hearing this, the Basha thickened his heart, and said, On this son of the king, they will gather for me a thousand okuyas of, without reducing, nor diminishing for being son of glorious kings. When the messenger arrived with this message to the great queen Sabla Wengel, there was great contentment then she made a lot of money in the amount we mentioned, through the princes and nobles of Tegar, and sent the son of grain with the same gold. So Baxa sent Marminas with those two cousins of his, who were go captive with him, because he was conquered by his faith, and by the cup of gold. Page 6. They met in the middle of the sea, on the side of Mesver, Basha's messengers, men of Turkey, who were with the king's son. They were on a ship, and the queen's messengers, who were with Grain's son, were on another ship, and lest each other deceit or do wrong, because of the difference of their faith, and the diversity of their countries, it was concluded with stipulations and oath, because peace was made between them by one God, Lord of the earth. After meeting, they placed themselves close and together, and Basha's messengers delivered the king's son with his two cousins to his own nation, and the queen's messengers delivered the son of grain with the gold, to the people of her faith. The surrender of each of them was at the same time, there being neither first nor last, because of the fear of betrayal and deceit, because the friendship between the two was not sincere. Christians and Islamists, that is why they were not united in the faith. What was the contentment of the chosen Minas at this hour, when he found himself brought his people, and what was his coming out of the sea, which is like the passage of Israel through the Red Sea, when he left Egypt, the land of his slavery, and the leaving of the three children of burning furnace. At this time there was great joy among the people because of the king's son, whose going out of the sea had been through them, and they sent a message of good news, to his mother, of good remembrance, just as they announced to Mary, Our Lady, the resurrection of her son, and similar to contentment of Mary, Our Lady, was the contentment of the Rai. Wish to return your son from captivity. The time elapsed from his arrest to his descent into the sea was two years and six months, and from his descent to his return from the sea was three years. At the time of her arrival at the array of the most religious Queen Sabla of Angle in the village of Vagara, which is called Aba Sent, the most faithful Queen Sabla of Angle ordered them to pitch tents and spread carpets inside them. The monks and priests arranged themselves in order, according to their ritual, with cross and thubulo clothed in the robes of priests, and the superiors of the Christian church, and the principals of the class of priests, went out to meet him, decked out in the best raiment, and those who came with the king's son, the princes, the nobles, the great ones of the queen's people and the Zumos of Tegar formed the companies of the captains, according to their customary ordinance. What language can speak and tell the joy of this day? It is not possible to refer to it by each of its parts. Then they took him to where his mother, his brother, and his sisters were, and then Queen Sabla of Angle embraced his neck, and kissed his whole body, weeping and shedding tears like water, and his sisters also kissed him, weeping and sighing, for so is the custom in this world, after being separated from their relatives or from their friends, when they have been together for a long time, they weep and sigh because of their great contentment, so was the contentment of the queen and her children mixed with tears. Then she began to give thanks to the Lord of the earth, saying, My soul magnifies the Lord of the earth, and my spirit rejoices in my God, and in my Savior, for he looked at his mother's humility, behold, since now they will call all generations happy, because he has done a great wonder for me. Page 7. After this he ordered the priests to be led, each one with his people, to where the tents had been pitched, and to sit at the table, in the place that was prepared, and a platform was arranged according to the number that each table could hold, then sent delicacies to them, each of its color, and each of its taste, and pure wine, the infusion of which was complete, and he said to them, Rejoice with me, because this son of mine also died, and is alive again, too. Well was lost, and is found, but let not your contentment be like that of mad and dissolute people, but rejoice in the Lord from the earth, which has helped us, and cry out to the God of Jacob, take the psaltery, and play the drums, the psalter is pleasant with the harp, let it be that, we give thanks to him who has done good works for us. This saying of yours is similar to the saying of the owner of a hundred sheep, when one of them was lost, did he not leave the ninety-nine in the field, and go looking for the one that had been lost to him? And when he had found it, he brought it on his shoulders, and went happy entering his house, and he called his friends and his neighbors, and said to them, Rejoice with me, because I have found my sheep, which is I was lost. She was still like the woman who had ten pieces of drachma, when one of them was lost, did she not look for it diligently until she found it? 
and when she found it, she called her friends and her neighbors, and said to them, Rejoice with me, because I have found my drachma, which was lost to me. There was not this contentment in the mind only on earth, but also in heaven, because of this son of the king separating himself from the congregation of unbelievers, and joining himself to the congregation of the faithful, and seven days were spent in these things, in which they were glad and exulted, but Queen Sabla of Angle did not put an end to the days of her contentment, but remained all the days of her life rejoicing, and exulting, and giving thanks to the Lord of the earth. And after that the queen sent messengers to her very powerful son, Galavdavos, to give him the good news that his brother had returned from captivity. And when the messengers of the good news came to him, and told him of his brother's return, he was filled with great joy, and it seemed to him that he had risen from the tomb. In these days, the queen, his mother, made a winter residence in Aba for Marminas. The prodigy of his departure from the sea, and of his return from captivity, is the fourth of the prodigies that we write. We'll see. Page 8 After the winter had passed, which was the second year, after her return, the queen arose from Aba, and left for Zaim, and there he did his winter residency. And in the third year, he rose from Zaim, to meet his son, a friend of his mother, like Ptolemy, because then he was assisting in the province of Va, and when she arrived, Galavdivos sent the great ones of his kingdom, who were from outside and from inside that day, and they received her with great honors, and carried her with her sons and daughters to the king's palace. In these days King Galavdivos had great parties with the queen, his mother, and with his brothers, and his sisters, Amadagi Iorgis and Sabanagi Iorgis, not only because of meeting with them after long days of separation, but also very much, because of their brother's return from captivity. After many days an alliance was made between the king and his brothers, of good deeds, Yerkob and Minas, because the suspicion had turned away from him, so that he might think ill of them out of jealousy of the kingdom, and he did not have for them, as their ancestors did for their brethren, that is, prison and enmity, and they neither thought nor wished evil against him, as Esau thought against Jacob his brother, but they desired the good order of their kingdom, and the length of their life, and thus long days remained. Oh! It is from this spiritual concord that it is said, how good it is, and how pleasant it is, when brothers and sisters are together. And, a few years after his return, the queen married Marminus, and his wife, just as the doctors of the church Christa ordered concerning the husband, and the wife, so that they become one in one body with this sacrament. At this time he had the dignity of Metropolitan Abuna Petros, who was ordained after Abuna Yasub, and by means of this sacrament, the bond of marriage between them was strengthened, as it was said, what the Lord of the earth has joined together, let not man put asunder, and there was much love between them, as it is said, and written of man and woman, and he thought of pleasing him in words and actions, and she obeyed him, just as Sarah obeyed Abraham, and called him my Lord, and because of this agreement they were rewarded by the Lord of the earth with blessed sons, and beautiful daughters, as scripture says the generation of the righteous will be blessed, and his goodness and his virtue will be known in his son, a good door of his father, and obedient to his mother. Behold, the spirit urges me to write your story. And after that, after a short time, Mar Galavdivos reached the death of the glorious martyrs, and he received the crown that does not emerge as we wrote before in his history. And then Keflo son of Iael, sent messengers to his mother, the Christian queen, to tell her about the death of her son, and to make king to Marminas, for then he was left with a sincere heart, as at first, and wickedness did not enter his mind. And when the messenger arrived where the queen was, he spoke to the relatives of Abba Zekar, and they told the queen and her children, the death of the same Mar Galavdivos, friend of men, may the lord of the earth have mercy, and mercy on him. Then there were great lamentations and much weeping, because they loved him from the bottom of their hearts because of his many virtues, and because he was good to good and bad, as the goodness of the Lord of the earth who makes the sun rise and the rain fall on sinners and on the righteous. And their weeping was not external weeping, as at the death of a master, for fear of his servitude, but as for the death of a merciful father, and the weeping of beloved children, and if there were intelligence in animals, they would also cry, seeing this cry from then. The rest of the captivity story is the return. This section refers to the history of the reign of Mar Minas, subject of this history, and is the third part, and the history of the division of the kingdom. The captains were scattered, each one with its family, and each one with its people, and his mother being in many lamentations and weeping, the great ones called this son of the king to set him on his brother's throne, and he hastened to answer his message, as a diligent man, but said to them, It is not for me to sit on this great and glorious throne, however they oblige him they made him sit on the royal throne, and gave him the royal name Adamus Sagad, just as we wrote before this with its meaning, but it was out of modesty, that being the throne of his father Lebna Dengel, and of his brother Galavdivos said, I don't it is fitting for me to sit on the royal throne. 
and similar to this said Paul, the blessed, saying, I am not worthy to be called apostle of Christ, after the Holy Spirit called him, say, separate me Saul and Barnabas, that they may be my envoys of the people, because his modesty forced him to say words of humility about him. The first month of his reign was the month of Meazia, which is the origin of the days of the year of the age of the world, and is the beginning of the Mezes from the Hebrews to that Mez, and in the same month came the great ones of the kingdom, Hamalmal, Keflo, Takla Hamanit, son of Dagalhan Ram Sagat, and other great princes, whom we do not remember. Page 9 and many captains who had escaped the death of that day, which we have mentioned, and then they discussed where it would be best to live in. King's winter, and taking the best advice, they chose the province of Begander and Dambia, so that they could go there for their winter residence. After this the king arose from Mangesta Samayat, which was the seat of his court, because then they assisted in the province of Guajam, and it was his mother with them, and did not separate from him to consolidate in him the kingdom law, and the whole world followed him, except Hamalmal, who remained to make war on the enemy Nur 6, like Da'azmak, ruling from the Abavi as far as his power reached, and except only his sister, of good memory and praise deeds, Amadaji Iorgis, who spent the winter in Martula Mariam, and after this, he turned his face to Bad's way, and arriving at Dambia, he did his winter residence in Zada, in the winter days, there was contentment and jubilation, satisfaction and pleasure, L, since she was. Seated on the throne of Christianissimo, he re-established the law and constitution of the kingdom, but the great ones of the kingdom, as well as Keflo and his mares, began to censor and murmur, and to promote seditions, occultly, until they were made manifest by facts. And after that, the winter passed, the king sent messengers, and the war captains, he brought together from all the towns of his kingdom, and Yashak sent a message, saying, And you, gathering the war captains, hasten may to go to fight Phaloxa. And after that, having the troops gathered, he set out for Salmon, with Yishak he met Ali, and they fought some days, and being prepared to fight, take up. The doctors looked at each other, and gave advice, saying, let's stop standing. Read with Phaloxa, because his time has not come. And with this advice they returned to Dambia, and spent the winter in Enfraz. And this, which he said, was not because the king had wronged him, but because Satan induced him, like Judas, who betrayed his lord, and delivered him up to those who killed him, after having endowed him with many divine gifts, as well as casting out devils, and cleansing lepers. In all this evil is similar. The slayer of his lord and his master, who loved him, and did him good. And after that we'll tell the story of their wickedness. One night, when the king slept in his bed with the flesh of his flesh, Balav Rasid suddenly entered the tent with one of his slaves. Wicked, who was like him, found a lamp that was lit, and two slaves sleeping inside the tent on one side and the other, the other, yet he carefully observed where the king and queen were lying, and recognized him with the greatest certainty, turned off the lamp, so that they would not know who it was, and afterward he strained his hand, and hurled the spear against the anointed of the Lord of the earth, then divine power intervened, and caused the spear to fall between them on the bed. Page 10 but he did not desist from killing him in his heart and by his hand, because it was not with him the Lord of the earth who saved David, his servant, from the spear of Goliath. This case is similar to constancy of Abraham's heart when he put the knife on the neck of Isaac, his only son, for the Lord of the earth did not spare him in the his commandment, and redeemed him not by his ram, that he should sacrifice him, and cut off his limbs, as is the custom of sacrifice, but to sacrifice this father, his only son, was by order of God, and not like this wicked one, who wanted to kill the Christian king on the advice of Satan, his father, just as our Lord said to the Jews, but you are your father Satan, and the will of your father you wanted to do. Let's not forget to narrate the end of Balav, Rarad's action, moving away to similarities. And when the spear fell between them, the king rose from his bed, roaring like a lion, and calling his father's name, and Balav Rasid the second time repeated to pierce him with the spear, but the power of the Lord of the earth prevented him, as at first, and caused the spear to fall on the burnos, it was by his pillow, and the slave killed one of the two slaves who were sleeping in the tent, and the other one he smote. But when the king wanted to arrest him, taking the sword from his pillow, Balav Rarad fled, and left the tent, and his slave went after him, and each one went his way. Balav Rarad went to Hebnat, and his slave went near Zamak. The two were taken captive, one by the signs of his sword, the other by signs of his figure, and they were led to the king's arrival, and then, by the just sentence of the judges, one they hanged, and the other they stoned. Then the Lord of the earth was praised by the mouths of all men, and it was said, Praise be to the Lord of the earth, who killed the one who had conspired against the Lord's anointed.
And because of what happened on the day of the king's salvation, wise men said, Now the Lord of the earth has saved his anointed by the saving power of his right hand. And then, after a little while, he arose from his winter residence, and turned his face to Varvar. But then Yashak stayed on account of illness, and Kephlo on account of making his wife's marriage. Daughter, saying all this, the reason they stayed was to make King Tazkaro, son of the king's brother, because they had spent the winter setting up this survey project with the partiality of these three, but the Lord of the Earth did not associate with them, and they pondered a project, which they could not carry out. Page 11. As soon as suspicion entered the heart of the Christian king, he sent a message to Yishak, first and the second time, saying, Come quickly to where we are, and don't apologize with the illness. And he, obeying, departed with the ear messenger, and arriving at a path which led to up and down, he said to the messenger, You go to the haste, and tell me about my coming by the way above, and I will go by the way below, so that my soldiers don't go hungry, because there is bread on this way. After this the messenger departed for his way, but he went by another way, and returned to his own country to meet with his relatives, with his children, and with his soldiers. Dice. But Keflo and his soldiers made Tazkaro king, as well as before they had deliberated, and when the king heard the news of these raised ones, he did not want to fight with the royal power of the raised ones, but hastened to fight with the raised Yashak, foundation of the building. Heat of evil. After this he sent Sarah Johans with some war captains, and followed behind him, Yashak wanted to fight with Zara Johans, because it seemed to him that he was alone, and that the terrible lion that is of the tribe of Judah, and of the muscle of David, did not follow him, but when he heard of the king's coming, he fled to Sire, and the king followed him in his steps, and found him in the district of Adiabo. And when the day of doom came of Yishak, he made his heart thick, and he fought with the anointed of the Lord of the earth, and then the victory went to the king, and the Alaven was vanquished. Ted, and one of his sons slain, and some of his soldiers were killed, others withdrew, leaving their horses and mules, and others voluntarily submitted. But Yashak escaped with difficulty, casting the iron helmet off his head, and his brother's son, they brought the next day, bringing him down from the mountain where he had been brought up, and because of the great piety that was in the hearts of the kings of Israel, did him no harm, remembering the sins of his father, and the sins of himself, which he had taken for himself to kill him, but he forgave his crime, and had compassion on him, thanks be to the Lord of the earth, who will give strength to our kings, and will exalt the value of his anointed. Page 12. After this the power of the Lord of the earth urged him to finish the deeds of war, which he himself had begun, and returned your face to the way by which he had come, and he went with diligence in following Yishak to fight with his enemy, which we have mentioned, and when he arrived at Begameter in the month of Hamel, he did not rest there, because the power of the Lord of the earth moved him to finish the company which he had in his hands. When they heard of his coming, they made their hearts thick, and placed the their mouths to utter words of blasphemy, and king of Christians, on approaching them, refrained from giving battle, and wished to spend the night, but those raised up said, let us not allow him to spend the night, but let us fight with him in the afternoon. And this, they said, was because they had gathered many horses from one side and another, and at that time, the Franks had also joined them, and that is why their pride took possession of them, arranged the squadrons to fight with the king, whose helper was the lord of the earth, and the cause of their haste tonight was to give him a drink of the cup of wrath, which was full for them, if not because they prayed in fear and terror, saying, Lord, let this cup pass from me, for they were quick to drink of it, as if urge the thirsty to drink water. And when they came near, the king also arranged the squadrons, trusting in the Lord of Earth, but they came trusting in their horses, and in the Frang soldiers, and when they fought, the king conquered, who trusted in the Lord of the Earth, and many of the captains of this thief of the kingdom fell, but he, and Johans, son of Vazara Romana Vark, Kefla withdrew together, and when they were pressed, those who pursued them, descending from their horses, turned aside from the path, and hid themselves in the woods by the trunk of a small tree, but in Kefla's heart. He infused the spirit of terror, like Cain, for he said to them, If they arrest you, they will not harm you, but if they take me, they will cut my body and each of its limbs. And when he had said this, he separated himself from them, and walked alone, but it is not known, where he went, if he fell into some precipice, or if someone killed him, that the king loved, the lord of the earth knows it. The other war captains, who had escaped the death of this day, were each in his own way of whom Johans and Tazkara were arrested the next day, and brought before the king, however she doesn't he repaid them according to their iniquity, but he suffered them, and he gave thanks to the lord of the earth for overcoming his enemies. All this happened in the third year of the reign of King Minas, father of orphans, and judge of widows, praise to the lord of the earth, who avenges the oppressed. About the oppressors. This was at the month of Hamel, on a Thursday.
After this he took up his winter residence Bigwabaya, and then that winter passed, Satan entered Yishak's heart, and moved him to make peace with Ursamuur, who had slain his brother, and made friends with stipulations and an oath to be one for the death and for life. Page 13. On the same days, he made Marcos king, a boy of little age, the son of Mar Jacob, the king's brother, this one listening that is, he was very angry, and ordered all the troops to be assembled from one side and another, and when he directed his march towards Tegar, then the great men took advice, and said, it is not convenient to fight with him, who has rifles and shells, because our armament is weak, and we cannot resist against fire. Hearing this, the king answered them with words of annoyance, so that they fell silent, and ceased to speak to him about it. Yishak, having news of his arrival, came with Basha Ursamuur from Aksum Aksum Toad Mekonan, and they met in the district of Endirta. And the king, trusting in the lord of the earth, who breaks the snares of the wise, and weakens the power of the strong, said, If I die, I gain my death through Christ, and if I live, it is my life for Christ. And with this faith of his he disposed the squadrons, but this day went from Ursamuur to victory, because it is lucky for warriors to win on occasions, and in others to be overcome, because only the lord is not defeated of the earth, whose kingdom is eternal, and whose power is through generations of generations. And with that, Yishak's Christmas Day did not arrive, on which he received the seventh punishment by his benefactor son, Mar Sarza Dengel, about which it was said, when your father dies, it is as if he did not die, because he leaves one, such as this after him. On this day none of their great ones, who were known, perished, but three men, and Yishak waited for the patience of the Lord of the earth, so that he would repent, as it is said, he will not destroy anyone until that you repent all of you, and he did not repent, but added obstinacy to obstinacy, so that in him the word of scripture might be fulfilled, which says, as thou wilt thy heart, and you do not repent, so you treasure punishments to take away. But the Christian king did not lose hope when he was defeated, because I knew that victory is changeable, and went along the Noteweg. And arriving at Adaronis Meriam, it took a few days, the princes who were in Shawa gathered there, such as Hamalmal. Taklo, Ram Sagad, and other captains, who had separated on the day of the battle along the path Fenot Goat, and found themselves there. All this was what happened in the fourth year of his reign. Page 14. Then he made his winter residency in Buwala Mechet to the captains who remained with him, he sent them, each one with his people, to villages to spend the winter, and he ordered them to come to him, after the winter. In the months of winter, he did nothing but prepare weapons, gathered blacksmiths from many villages, and spent the winter engaging them in making swords and spears, and some horse harness, as well as bridles and stirrups, and those who knew how to make guns worked without rest, and in this way, spent the winter. All this diligence of his was to fight with S. Demer, because he did not know that this enterprise was reserved for her son, and that he was not the destroyer of the Turks, but only the fruit of her womb, which was to sit on her throne. After the winter had passed, he gathered together all the captains, who had spent the winter each with their companies, and then he arose from his winter residence, and directed his way to Amhara, sent Hamalmal before him, and Johans his brother, and Zara Johans with many captains, to clean up the Daba, and harness the oxen for food, and wait for him on the way that goes down to Tegar, and on the other hand, he sent Taklo, and Manadlivos and many princes that they might go along the path of Vag to confer with the Zumos and wait there for him. All this having been done, and the arrangements of the way in front of him when he arrived at the village of Kol, and the natural law of his parents visited him with a little illness, which is the lot of all the children of the living, and with this disease he died, and passed into the mercy of the Lord of the earth, glorious, his soul will rest in the kingdom of heaven, when he says to those at his right hand, Come, blessed of my father, inherit the kingdom, which belongs to you from before the world was created. The help of the curse, and the gift of the blessing of King Minas be with his son Sarza Dengel. Amen. The day of his death was on the fifth of the month of Yaakadit, in the year 7055 of the age of the world. The third part has been completed.